The EFF dedicated its anniversary to those who have been affected and infected by coronavirus. Party members dressed in black honoring those who have succumbed to it. Malema said the party had become an unstoppable force of change in the country, standing on the shoulders of Winnie and Zinzi Mandela, Robert Sobukwe, Julius Nyerere, Robert Mugabe, Peter Mugaba and Nomvo Boy. He called on EFF leaders to stand still. The next five years require a leadership that is not scared. The central command team of the EFF must be at the forefront of every struggle facing our people and be willing to die to change the lives of the dispossessed and exploited masses of our people. There is no longer room for mistakes or laziness. There is no longer room for mediocrity and cowardice. Malema said democracy and political power in the hands of the ANC were meaningless. He said since the dawn of democracy, not a single public hospital had been built, putting millions of lives at risk due to COVID-19. The EFF therefore calls for an immediate independent scientific review of COVID-19 figures. No politician must assume the role of health statistician as figures are being manipulated by national government and the Western Cape government to give the impression that the South African government is doing a better job than the rest of the world in handling COVID-19. PR stands and attempting to score cheap political points by manipulating data is not going to help us. Malema said SOEs must be used to create jobs and enhance service delivery and a call for new entities including a state-owned road company, state-owned bank and the nationalization of the South African Reserve Bank. At the center of their ideas is that we must surrender ourselves to the private sector by selling our state-owned enterprises, handing over our economy and becoming dependent on people whose, whose sole purpose in life is to make profit. This idea which is championed by Ramaphosa and the DA, must be rejected with the contempt it deserves. Malema said the EFF would sooner rather than later govern South Africa and would ensure tenders are abolished. He called on all men in the country to refrain from abusing women and children. Abongile Dumago, SABC News, Johannesburg.